Drawn to London by the global economic meltdown, Barack Obama joined his British host to raise the curtain on a Group of 20 summit with promises of action. We must not miss an opportunity to lead, to confront a crisis that knows no borders. The world is coming together to act in the face of unprecedented global financial times. Behind the scenes, though, the European allies were shrugging off Obama's call for lots more spending to fight the recession, while U.S. officials balked at Europe's idea of a global financial czar. The president downplayed the disputes. I think that the, uh, the separation between the various parties involved has been vastly overstated. Still, France's president hinted if this summit's going nowhere, he's going home. And it wasn't just the French losing their tempers. This protest is taking place in front of the Bank of England, the police moving in to clear the square from a protest whose anger is being fed by a feeling G20 leaders are meeting behind closed doors to talk about world finance while the world's poor are being left to suffer. Some scuffled with police and smashed nearby windows, while others had scathing words for Obama. Truth, I think he's just a puppet that's been put there to sort of quell, to quell the, the feeling of inequality in America. And I think people will find out eventually just what, what kind of a puppet he is. Meantime, at a pre-summit meeting, Obama and Russia's president agreed to strike a new deal limiting nuclear weapons before the current START treaty runs out in December. To help seal it, Obama will visit Moscow, and he'll travel to Beijing later on amid China's increasingly blunt opposition to American global dominance. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, London.